Jesus gave the church special authority to forgive and also to refuse to forgive sins. His special authority we name keys. A key locks and unlocks. The church refusing to forgive sins is the same as a key locking heaven. The church forgiving sin is the same as a key unlocking heaven. Private confession and holy absolution belong to the keys. A Christian congregation calls a pastor to listen to confession and announce holy absolution. Private confession and absolution happens how? A person goes to the pastor. The pastor listens, then tells the person his sins are now forgiven. The person doesn't need to name specific sins. In fact, the Bible says we cannot count or know all our sins. The pastor doesn't try to force a confession. He doesn't try to make a person feel guilty. The pastor is supposed to listen and then announce sins are forgiven. Important. Lutheran pastors make a promise never to reveal sins confessed. If you confess your sins, the pastor will keep quiet. Private confession is not the same as self-examination before receiving the Lord's Supper. Private confession and absolution give wonderful blessings. 1. It announces the gospel and gives forgiveness. 2. It satisfies the sinner's individual needs. 3. It gives great spiritual benefits. 4. It gives psychological comfort and benefits. The sinner receives wonderful benefits when he sees his pastor announce, Your sins are now forgiven. Go with peace. His forgiveness and peace is from Christ himself. 